So we got a call for a Jeep that is stuck in the snow up to Mammoth Creek. We're gonna head up there and see if we can get it out. We've got the Bombie back there. Yes, she's still wounded, but I think this is gonna be a pretty simple job. Fingers crossed that it stays together and uh, we don't have to call for backup. I haven't been asleep, but it might look like it because it's pretty bright outside and I forgot my sunglasses, so I'm kind of squinting a little bit. But it's 27 degrees. It's a blizzard outside right now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I think those are scratched. Uh, they're pretty clear. All right. Different from my regular style, but they'll work for the day. It's already cloudy. We can't even see like 300 yards out from us, but it's going to be a good day. It is going to be a good day. We got Jonah back there swinging the camera. The customer sent me pictures and I looked at them and I'm like, okay, I think the Morvera can handle this job pretty easily and it's in great condition, unlike unlike the Bombi that's lost third and fourth gear and it's, yeah, it just needs some help. We really, really need to work on it. But then it snowed last night, so I had to decide whether to take the broken vehicle that goes really good in deep snow or the the good running vehicle that might struggle with really deep snow so we made a decision we're gonna stick with it all right we got all fueled up we got my victory pie gonna be eating that in the oh it's a little bit later today what you get there lizzie i got me a maple donut and some chocolate milk to go with it jonah what'd you get i got uh some orange juice uh sandwich and a donut so in case you're wondering what fuels the guardians of the galaxy it's the stuff we just showed you i eat more healthy on a regular basis <laughs> you guys see us eat three meals a month and you think we eat like garbage <laughs> <laughs> sometimes i do but not all the time <laughs> not all the time you have to be pretty healthy to eat this bad and the next stop is picking up the customer morning good morning, good morning. Uh, warmed up today how much snow did we get last night up there, do you think? Probably about six inches. Okay, I'm glad I brought the snow cap. Oh yeah, I was assuming you'd probably need it. I was doing good till I got on the stupid snowmobile trail and it sunk. Well, it doesn't look like it's too far of a pull. Just, but it, what is it, like 50 yards or something to get you uh, back on the hard pack? A hard pack, it's, it's probably gonna be more like an eighth of a mile. Yeah, not too far, okay. What you doing there, Lizzie? I'm putting wool socks on in my smoking so I don't freeze my little toes. I forgot my gloves, so now my hands are going to freeze. Okay, as little as wheel spinning as you can do, we're just gonna just get you on top of this. We're gonna pull up 20, 30 yards and then stop and load everybody up and head out. Enough, it's going like I'm having to stay on the brake to keep the rope tight. Just put it in neutral, and drag the brake, pull, pull you all the way out because right. you, you could fall through again, yeah, depending on where you're at. Yeah, jump in here, let's go. This is a nice, easy pull.
Yeah, I, I'm glad that came out like that. I, I couldn't even feel it. I couldn't. I'm like, yeah. we either came unhooked or that came out easy. It must have been in the worst of it, right where I was at there. Yeah, it turned because there was no getting out. I, you'd see all the shuffle oh, we did. Oh, I know. Once you break through that top crust, you're done. Yep. All right. All right. There's your shirt. <laughs> Call Matt. He'll get you out. Thanks, Matt. Awesome. All right, we got that done. The old Bombi just made made it a cakewalk, really. Yeah, it honestly seemed like from being there that it wasn't even stuck very bad because it just pulled it right out. But we are on a secret mission that only me and you know about, because I'm going to tell you, we're headed over, like we're in Fab Rats territory here. So we're going to head over and surprise them, see what they're up to, see if I can get a sneak peek at his wrecker and uh, see if I can find any weaknesses. We got about a 45 minute drive to get to Paul's shop. While I enjoy the drive, I'm gonna be enjoying my victory pie. Mm. And I'm enjoying my victory donut. I already ate my donut. Sweet, sweet victory. We are in sunny South Glendale, home of Fab Rats. We're gonna stop in unannounced, to see what they're doing. See if we can find the strengths and weaknesses of the rat rod tow truck that Paul's building and uh, still some Mountain Dew if we can do that. This is going to be a quick trip because we got to get back to work on the wrecker. Hello. What are we doing? Say, we're coming to say hi. Hi. Surprise. Well, hi. So, How are you, Missy? So not only can you go to thefabrats.com to get official Fabrats gear, but you can stop here at Fabrats headquarters. Yeah, and I'll help you. You can meet Grandma Lolly, pick up some merch, and look super cool. It's gone! There it is. I don't I, even own a tow truck, my friend. I, I came here to steal all your secrets. Huh? No secrets. Jeeps. We're working on Jeeps. I'm going to have to have Chad send me some pictures. Yeah. So the rat rod tow truck's not here. This, this is a completely wasted trip. It's up at Chad's getting some wiring. My tow truck takes wiring to run too, by the way. Yeah, does it? Yeah. Mine, it, it ran, it just nothing else worked. <laughs> so, like literally nothing worked. Yeah, we right. still haven't sorted the hydraulics out on 100%. Oh. So well, don't feel bad that I'm, yours isn't all done. Cause usually it makes me feel good when you're struggling because I'm like, <laughs> oh, finally. But now I'm feeling bad because I know where you're at. Yeah. We're going to take a full tour of the shop, and then we're going to skedaddle. Oh, but first. Oh, no. this, this better be good. We're running out. There's one in the can in the box down there. We're about out. Stolen. This has been an amazing trip. We topped it off by coming up to the house to see Michelle. That wrecker's not going to build itself. Mine, nor Paul's. So one of us has got to get on one of those wreckers. For all of you that have bought tickets to the wrecker games and still haven't found a place to stay, Sand Hollow Resort still has some openings left, so you can check them out. Everybody that's bought a ticket, please check out the link in the description to a map so you can get familiar with the area. I'll pin a comment also. So since we can't predict the weather, it's probably going to be hot and sunny, cold and rainy, maybe snowy, but probably windy. Bring your jacket and your umbrella for the sun or the rain. So we got a call for a big commercial type of vehicle up by Pine Valley. We're gonna head up there, see if we can get them out. I am in Hefe's truck driving with the Morvair on the back and Hefe's riding shotgun. Yep, Matt is down breaking stuff, I mean fixing stuff at King of the Hammers. So he left us here to take care of all the work. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. It's like 40 degrees probably up in Pine Valley right now. It's cold, it's gonna be muddy. We didn't put the mud flaps on the Morver. we probably should have, but. Is that a snow job? <laughs> Lizzie thought it was a snow job. That's what the pictures look like. But there's mud underneath that snow. All right, <laughs> mud here we come. just got to the vehicle. We parked the truck down there because we don't know exactly where it's at. So we're gonna find it, look at, 
the situation and see what we're gonna do from there. So where's it at? <laughs> That's slick. That's a really steep drop off here to my right. If I go down there, I'm not coming back up. At least not the way I came. Great because uh, we're just trying to turn around so my son backs up a little bit uh -huh. and then he tried to come out and it just started going and it would slide a little bit and then he tried to put it in gear and it would like take off a little bit and it would slide more and more and then Dom's like we better chalk those tires and we were looking for something to chalk the tires and it was too late. This is I, I got I got to get our phones out and I, <laughs> I felt the truck just start going. I jumped out and. It's funny because I still ended up closing the door and it just was sliding faster, faster, faster. I cannot believe it didn't go over the cliff. This way they said it's pretty bad. They said it's worse than this. People are obviously driving on it with their regular cars, so I think the more rare, I think those new tires will just eat this up. We'll be fine. But what about pulling this heavy thing up? Once you get momentum, you're just going to want to go. Mm -hmm. oh, no stopping. So let's go unload the more rare. It's gonna be quite the job. This ice is going to be our enemy on this one. The last time I was in a snow job, I did a 360 <laughs> in the banana. Yeah. Oh. Let's hope that doesn't happen Out today. That is a lot steeper than it looks in the photo that they sent us. And it's probably like, for all you viewers, it probably looks like it's not that steep at all, but it's freaking steep. Granted, the truck's tires are bald, but that truck slid down with nobody in it all the way down to the bottom. They're lucky they caught that edge and that those, those things were strong enough to stop them. like a really solid place yeah except for now everything started, that is touching the ice is frozen now yeah. like me and then let's try one for now okay and we're gonna just try it you're gonna step on it if i feel so if i feel you going i'm gonna go for it okay okay if if i feel like we're not making progress up it we're gonna shut it down On the traction. You're just on the slick thing of ice. Once you hit here, I think you could get up to speed, but I don't know. I'm gonna try and bump. You're a little too far passenger to become a little bit more driver. I don't think I can get my truck close enough too. I should have brought a like winch, a winch yeah. extension. I don't think I have another rope in my truck. So this road is just a loop, huh? So we'd have to come steep up the other side. Man, that's pretty steep going down there. I wish we would have just brought the winch extension. Yeah. Then we could have got all the way to the top. So we're not blocking anybody out of their property or into their property. But right also here. if we just leave her right here, there's a chance of it just rolling back on its Let's own. Let's throw some chalks under it. We didn't bring enough horsepower, did we? <laughs> oh, we brought enough. We didn't bring enough traction. So 
we decided the best and safest way possible to do this job is to come back tomorrow with more equipment and when the conditions are not as bad. We're gonna come back tomorrow and we are going to get them out. The next day. So it's day two of trying to get this box truck up. We've got back up this time. we got a bunch of winch extensions. Hopefully we'll be able to get it out this time. And the banana, we're taking four rigs up there and we are gonna get this out today. We got our fuel, we got our fuel, which is my food. I got me some breakfast. We are on the road. It's about an hour drive from here and then we're gonna unload and drive on in and get this thing out of here. And I think we drive back to Morver down, hook it up the same way, run its winch all the way out, run the winch cable out to the banana, and the banana will be up here for now. We'll try and start with just that, and just the banana will just keep constant pressure on while the Morver tries driving and pulling it out. Okay. What vehicle do you want? I don't care. Okay. Do you want me in the truck or put Rhett in the truck? Rhett in the truck. Okay. Rhett, are you good with driving that big truck? Okay, you're gonna drive the big truck. Just remember, if you start sliding back down, you need to aim for the spot where the truck went before. We'll run out the line first, see how far we can get with it, and see where we gotta park the banana. Stay over here, man. Get on the dirt. All right, Carter. I think so. I slid down the hill. Oh, wow. My hands are in my pockets. This is pretty sketchy this morning because it's all frozen and Carter, Carter's already fallen once. So I did put on my snow boots this morning, so I have a lot more traction than traction I did yesterday. Those. Much better than those cowboy boots. It's got good traction. How long is this winch extension line? A hundred footer, I think. Then the awesome thing about these winch lines is they have a soft shackle built into them on the end. So we haven't even had to use a soft shackle yet between the Moravair, the winch extension, and the banana. It's quite nice. We both get a pull at the same time. Yeah, Rhett, you're not going to be doing much. Just try and get a little bit of traction. Right. And so I'm going to be inside the Morver, driving it forward. Yes. Well, both try and let the winch going. do most of the work. Okay. But just if you can get a little bit of traction to help, try and help. Yep, we're ready. Okay, go ahead and put it in four low and Came drive. I have to reposition. I'm gonna come more to the left, so I'm pulling you straighter, okay? Okay, I'm in park right now and off the of gas, so it should hold. Give me a second, stay in there for a second. I'm gonna see if, I'm gonna let out my winch and see if you move at all, okay? Okay. Holding. At least this is getting closer to on traction. I wanna be right here. That's a little straighter. It's so difficult because my left foot's on the brake, my right foot's on the gas. I'm in first gear and I'm going with the winch line with my right hand steering. And then I also need to talk on the radio going? at the same time. We're gonna have to reposition once she gets onto dry ground. Front of that 
rock again and you need to adjust the wind cable. Only put the rock behind the rear tires. You can see I'm pulling her that way. Yeah. So I just need to I need to sit right here to keep her on this dirt. Right. And then if this if I get right on this, I hope it'll help stop me from moving forward. Anybody want to count how many times I've walked up and down this hill today? That'd be great to know. Thanks. Okay, everybody stay clear of it. I'm going to disconnect for a second. You seen a lot of vehicles get stuck here on this hill in the Almost winter? weekly, yeah. You guys haven't heard me talk much, but I want to tell you this. This is a very slow moving job with a lot at risk. Because if this thing started sliding, it would start pulling the other rigs. This thing is a heavy machine. It's heavy and it's very useless. It's looking really good. Your tires are right where they need to be. Okay. Um, if we can get the winch out, they can connect and then we can pull them both all the way up into each other, okay? Engage Lizzie's winch and tell her to pull it in. Okay, you're good. Now go ahead. We're so close, I can feel victory in our destination. <laughs> I want to hook my truck up to rent first though. <laughs> good job, Brett. Yeah, good that was job. good, man. I was hot sitting there in the sun. Okay, here's one. We'll get him out. <laughs> <laughs> we are back in the trucks all loaded up, and we are headed to Veo Pies to get our victory pie and end this recovery with two thumbs up. All right, so let's talk about this job for a minute. Who was the scaredest? <laughs> I never said I was that scared. I said that my heart got racing whenever it would slide back. <laughs> it was a pretty sketchy job. It was a long, scary pull, but we got it out, and now we're enjoying our victory pie. Without Matt. Without Matt. <laughs> Maybe we'll bring him a piece. And thanks for watching. Matt, we okay. did it without you. <laughs>